petty things I did to celebrities at my old job. Selena Gomez came in once and said something really rude, so I went to the back and I changed the Spotify to Justin Bieber. <laughs> Sean Combs or P. Diddy or Puff Daddy came in and threw his coat at me, so when the girl he was with ordered a Clix vodka martini, I gave her Smirnoff. Ellen DeGeneres came in one time and I overheard her say to another patron, does this look like my talk show? Leave me alone. So then I told everybody that I could that she was there. So back in the spring, I went to the grocery store in the morning because I had a hankering to cook some pancakes. Yes, she cooks. So I'm waiting to cash out and the lady in front of me goes to pay and her card gets declined. And she, you know what? I'll pay for that, ma'am. She turned around in disbelief, thanked me thoroughly, and then told me to have a blessed day. She got some food, it was only like $18, and then the lady behind me goes, you know you just got scammed, right? So I whipped my head around, I said, excuse me? Well, if she really wanted that food, I'm sure she had food stamps. I said, you know what? I talk a lot of sh** on TikTok, so even if it was a scam, it was my blessing. She said, yeah, I don't trust it. I bet she does that scam all the time. I said, you know what I don't trust? A grown woman with braided pigtails and Crocs. So this is your sign to go out into the world with empathy. Lessons in not crossing a gay man. So people ask me all the time how it is I came to be a storyteller, and the short answer is, I've always been this way. So I'll tell you a story my mom loves to tell. When I was only three years old, there was one night that I was begging my mom to spend the night at my grandparents' house, and she said no, and I dead ass looked her in the eye and said, you'll be sorry. So my mom takes me to bed, it goes back downstairs because she's a fuck to bed at 7 p.m., but shortly after, there is all of these emergency lights going on outside and people banging on the door. There's fire trucks, there's police, my parents are confused, but they tell them that the 911 dispatcher told them that a small child had called in sobbing in a hushed voice that a mean man broke into the house and was starting fires. My mom screams up the stairs in a rage. I come waddling in like, what? My mom goes, did you call 911? And I said, yes. And she goes, why would you do that? And I said, I told you you'd be sorry. <laughs> A gay man. Y'all, why am I so ready? <laughs> so I was in the gym this morning by myself. And then these two Russian henchmen walked in. One of them looked like Gru. The other one was shaped like he took a We'll call them Boris and Sasha. So Boris and Sasha were speaking Russian to each other. And I know this because I speak Russian. And I can hear them making jokes about me. If I were a girl or a boy about my nails being painted, been that funny. But not me starting doing my abs and counting my reps. Adin, dva, tri, chitiri, pied, yes. <laughs> so Boris catches my eye in the mirror and I just went. <laughs> and then they left. Paka paka, suka. Don't even joke about this. I actually think that I'm too gay for the military. I even had a job interview for them once in a room that reminded me of my high school cafeteria because it was, in fact, in my high school cafeteria. And then this beefcake with too much testosterone came in and said, I'm Sergeant Williams. I said, no, no, I don't work here yet. What's your first name? Then he tried to mansplain rank and respect to me, <laughs> okay? So he started explaining the job and said that he would send me to something called basic training. And I was like, who are you calling basic? You're the one interviewing me in a room with overhead fluorescent lighting. <laughs> then he said something about issuing me a gun. And I was like, I can't hold a gun. I just got my nails done. He said, you ever been shot, kid? I said, no, but I'm currently triggered by your straightness. Then he went into the compensation package and said that that started off at $19,000 a year. I said, <laughs> You're not kidding? I said, whatever, I'm only here for the uniform anyway. What's that look like? He said something about camo and combat boots. I said, okay, I'll stop you right there, sir. I'll try the Navy. When the man sitting behind you on a flight from Vegas projectile vomits on the back of your head. Lessons in not crossing a gay man. To all the moms out there, you're doing a great job. So I just went to lunch with a friend of mine that I work with and an older couple. So this friend of mine, she just came back to work after 20 months of being unemployed because of the pandemic. And the older guy looked at her and said, so tell me about yourself. And she let him know that she's from the Philippines, Manila, and that she has two young kids. And his response was, well, don't you feel shame and guilt being here and not home with them? 
And of course, she's too nice to say anything. And she just kind of like hung her head. And he said, because my generation, we were taught that the mother stays home with the kids and takes care of her husband. I said, ew, uh, sir, that was rude. You owe her an apology. Of course, men like him don't like to be told they're wrong. So he flipped out in a rage. That's what's wrong with this generation is all these women are going off to work and not teaching their kids. And that's why they're all becoming gay and turning different genders. I said, and your generation of men didn't know how to emotionally connect with their children. You might want to check your expiration date because you smell like sour milk. Just moved to New York City and me and my roommate, we were cater waiters and we were working this really big like Hollywood VIP party. And instead of working, we just ended up getting really, really drunk. And we were going up to everyone in the party and being like, have you seen my friend Kesha? Yeah, my, my friend Kesha, have you seen her? And like, I walked up to Ryan Seacrest and I was like, have you seen my friend Kesha? And he went, who? I hope he sees this. So last night, me and a group of friends saw this like blue green ball of fire flying through the sky towards the ocean. And we were on our way to bingo. And so I made the joke. I said, well, we should make a wish on that. And then I won over a thousand dollars. <laughs>